Go ahead and walk us through the display a little bit. Okay, from the home screen, you go to a manual mode. Once you're in the manual mode, you can use the uh, hand switch to adjust the axis. This is you can run the pressure die in and out. When you select the PD, or if you select the C axis, do a plus or minus, you'll go forward or backwards with the rotor. This display shows what size hex you have in the machine. Currently we have 110 millimeter hex in there. Do the large tool. Um, and the limit switches are on. It also shows the load meter and the speed and what it is set at to manually jog the C-axis. That'll be how fast the uh, bend actually moves. So it's 45% in this case of 100. Yep. All right, go ahead. Go to the manual or go to the automatic screen. Um, it shows you what step you are in the, in the bend cycle. Total bend cycle time. As this little arrow moves back and forth, it shows you your progress on how far you're going on the bend that you have like programmed. Like distance to go, essentially. Yep. This bend will be 90 degrees plus 15 degrees spring back. These two little blue toggles, you can turn the tie bar switch on or the pressure die switch on. You can turn the steps off in the cycle to move it manually. Um, it has a cycle count. Same thing up here, it has the load meter and a program speed um, selector. You can increase the speed in the automatic program as you're going if you'd like to go faster or slower. Yeah, on the bottom of that screen it's showing 110. That's the hex that's currently in the machine? Yes, sir. And the machine knows that? The machine knows that by the three proc switches inside where the can drops in. Perfect. And then uh, the two bars in the middle, you got plus minus, what do they do? Plus so that, that's, um, you select your direction, whether you're going uh, positive or negative with pressure die or the C-axis. Okay, so it's bend or return if you're bending. Yep. All right. It shows you which direction you're heading. Perfect. Um, there's uh, load meters on here, and it also shows how many amps you're drawing, kilowatts. Cut. And then uh, what are some of the other screens that are kind of useful? Um, you go to the gears. All right. You can turn the hydraulics on and off. If you don't want to listen to the hydraulic pump run while you're doing a program, you can turn the hydraulics off. Or if it automatically times out due to the setting and how long it'll run without activity, okay. that'll turn it back on there. This is your C-axis angle. Okay. Um, it, has, it has a clock, show you service time. Now this cross here, here Dave, is that the uh, reset for the counter bend die axis? That, yes, that will reset if you want to zero it someplace else. You, if you wanted to move it uh, forward. So uh, if you change the radius zero. of the tool and you have to reset position of the counter bend die axis, you yep. would want to zero that? Yep, mostly it should be taken care of automatically when you switch the, uh, the can in and out though. Okay. For your hex size. It's uh, simple to do. Very good, and I see a lot of flags there. It looks like we've got some uh, multiple here. programs of different languages. Of course, we're going to use the uh, U.S. flag. Yep. Um, you can also program in job notes. It looks like uh, you can put in a report or comments. So this would be relevant if you wanted to save some information uh, and when you come back to a job that you've been. It really doesn't affect the programming of the machine, but it helps you remember kind of what tool you used and whatever you want to note there. This is the program key for making your automatic program. Okay. If you select this button here, it will show you the list of the programs that are in your machine. This one currently only has two. Okay. Um, if you want to look at that program, you cursor to the right. Go back to the selected program. Cursor right again. Yeah, it's still thinking about for a second. You select Dave. This my program. Still okay. So when you go to the other screen though, that's that's where you would put your bend angles in? Yes. The screen here. Yeah, so you've got the first one is your bend angle. The bend angle. Second column is your spring back setting for each bend angle. And the percent of uh, speed for the Z-axis. So you, you can actually set every separate bend angle with its own speed of bend. Yes. Okay, great. To 30 bends in one program. Awesome.
Okay, uh, let's look at the other highlights on this day. Um, uh, change in the program is very simple. You want to modify the bend angle. Okay. Simply select the box where you have your bend angle, change it to 100 degrees if you'd like. Okay. Select OK. Go back. Click on the disc to save it. So you want to save it, otherwise nothing's going to really happen. Select the checkbox. And that kind of cements what you did. Then you can go back and look, and, and the information is saved in the program. It's very simple. Okay, good. So I guess right now I'll stop this, and then we'll go ahead and make a bend, and I'll, uh, we'll do a video of this thing actually cycling so you get an idea of what's happening here. This is a TB180 by Herculina with a 4-inch pipe capacity. This will actually do a 4-inch Schedule 80. Now, you're going to want to check the mill certs on what you're bending out there. But typically, uh, if you're bending grade B or less, you can do that. So always make sure what you're bending.